Well, they might not come if I call them, but if I shake the treat bin, they're all over it. Here you go, kids. Have a few. Recording started. Mailbag will be going in about three minutes. That's the plan anyway. All right, I'm going to have a seat right here, check the camera angles, and then I think we can get going. I mostly want to see how that camera looks. Um, yeah, I think we could actually zoom in in front of me a little bit more. Let's try that. Yeah, I think that'll work, probably. We'll see. Maggie, you don't have to do that. Who do you think you are, Greg? Hi, Jan. Hi, kids. Hi, Internet. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's start with the news of the week. It's been a big week. There's a lot going on. Um, let's uh, first off, let's I think it was this Monday that Ari had his dental appointment. And it's uh, this coming Monday that Cal has her spay on Monday. So that's coming right up. And that's exciting. Then... Uh, is Skylight new since last week? Kind of, I guess, because she showed up on Saturday, right? Late, so I uh, wasn't here for yet last week's mailbag. She's here now. Uh, so we should talk about her for a second. That's our new mom cat upstairs. She is extremely sweet and extremely dirty. Uh, she was definitely like the dirtiest mom cat that ever came to us. She smelled like a barn, covered in dirt and dust. Uh, really has uh, been a country gal, I guess. Um, but we gave her a little bath on the day she arrived, not enough to get her entirely clean. She's still very dusty, um, but I think that as time passes, she'll start to really uh, shine up. So uh, we're looking forward to that. She seems like she might be a long hair. Uh, she's at least we've got like a very thick medium coat right now. And uh, we've had her to the vet already. We've had x-rays and ultrasounds as of last, uh, it wasn't last week actually, I think it was Monday afternoon. The ultrasound definitely saw, Dr. K says she saw at least three babies, um, and the x-ray didn't really show very much yet because uh, the little kitten skeletons are what shows up on the x-ray, and those don't form until the last two or three weeks of pregnancy. 
So what we know is that she's not yet within the last two or three weeks of pregnancy. Uh, she's still pretty early on uh, as far as it goes. So we should expect to have a good long wait for her little kittens to arrive. Um, which is nice because uh, she's also got a little bit of the weepy eyes and uh, some stuff I think she needs to kind of get over health-wise uh, to really give her kittens the best. So we're working on that with her, and she seems like she's doing very well. And uh, if you've watched it all when I go in the room, uh, she just loves to have some lap time and purrs and snuggles, and she's, she's very into it. So it's wonderful so far. Her name is Skylight. So that's our new mom cat, Skylight. Um, then... The other news is that Teaspoon went for his uh, consultations as well. And as far as his heart surgery goes, his cardiologist says that um, he wants to wait another six months to basically see if Teaspoon is going to grow any larger. And because at this evaluation, he seems like um, the valve is a little bit more open than it was. That's his fundamental problem is he's got a heart valve that is just too, like, it's almost stuck shut in a way. It's not entirely shut, of course, but it's, it's much smaller than it should be. And uh, at this check, it seemed like it was a little bit bigger. So it's letting a little bit more through the way that it should, which is nice. Not enough that he's out of the woods, of course but enough that the cardiologist felt perfectly comfortable saying, all right, let's wait another six months and see if he gets bigger. Um, it, it's not like we're gonna wait six months and he's gonna be better all by himself. He's, he's gonna need the surgery, um, but in six months, I think that um, the, the cardiologist is fairly confident that um, he'll be fine waiting that long, and the longer that we are able to wait uh, comfortably, the uh, better the surgery could go because he'll be a little bit bigger and that uh, eliminates some of the, the trouble of doing it. So that's the plan from the cardiologist is a recheck in six months. We've actually already scheduled it for, I want to say like one of the last days in August, um, something like that. You do the math. Then um, we took him right back to see a surgeon at the same place that was recommended by both the cardiologist and Dr. Katz, actually. She, she recommended him after the fact, but she, uh, when I talked to her about it, she said, oh, he's very good. You do whatever he says, it'll be fine. So um, the uh, surgeon we saw, because Teaspoon still has not been neutered, and we think it's about time to have him neutered if we can. So when I talked to the surgeon, he basically said that um, it's not a problem as far as like, uh, you know, if, if you don't, if you, so T Teaspoon not only has the heart condition, he's also what they call cryptorchid, which basically means that his testicles aren't where they should be. Um, when kittens are born, their, their little bits start like all the way up here by the kidneys and they have to travel all the way down to where they belong, which typically happens by the time that we get them neutered, uh, even typically happens by the time they're like two months old. Uh, I think it's even sooner than that in a lot of cases. So it usually happens fairly early, but that, that trip has to be made. And he's custard, uh, custard teaspoon is not the first kitten we've had where they didn't quite make the trip uh, according to schedule. Uh, I think he is the first one that we've had where they, you know, he's a year old now and they still haven't made the trip. So that's a little exceptional and probably he's got a whole bunch of things going on. The heart is probably not his only real, you know, issue. Um, I haven't heard that this could be caused by the heart issue like some of his other problems are, like his constantly weepy eyes or uh, the fact that he's small and dense um, and full of liquid most of the time. Uh, that's, and, and the fact that he's got a lot of constipation, uh, you know, which we've mostly been able to resolve, but not entirely. All that is, is because of the heart condition where the, the testicle thing I don't think is. So uh, at any rate, um, what you will hear about kids, they call it crypt orchid uh, when you have this condition. Um, and for our crypto bros, like Teaspoon here, um, they say if you leave that alone and just don't do anything about it, that they can develop into cancer, uh, which we don't want, obviously. That's a bad thing. Um, but the timeline for that is we're talking like four or five years down the road before you really have to be worried about it. So for that reason, we wouldn't necessarily have to have him neutered now. But 
Uh, first off, not neutering a boy cat can lead to behavior problems, uh, uh, like marking, for instance, is, uh, is highly correlated with, um, I shouldn't say highly correlated, I don't think it works both ways, <laughs> but, uh, but boys that aren't fixed do tend to start marking after a while, and we don't want that. Um, and then um, the other issue that, his, uh, that the surgeon brought up particularly was in regards to his heart condition, um, those bits are going to produce more testosterone in his body than he would without them. And the surgeon is concerned that that testosterone could exacerbate his heart issue. So we don't want that either. So the surgeon basically says he thinks it's a good idea to go ahead and get it done. And he's very confident about it. He doesn't seem to think that there's gonna be any trouble with it. And uh, we actually have it scheduled for Tuesday that, that quickly. So uh, we're gonna bring him in on Tuesday. He wants to do an overnight, so uh, we won't be picking him back up again until Wednesday. But uh, the clinic that he's at is a 24-hour clinic, so there'll be people there with him overnight. And one of the reasons that we decided to do it there, uh, even though the cost is um, pretty high for it, um, is first off, the surgeon is one that feels confident doing it where most of them probably wouldn't, like our regular Dr. Katz that does these wouldn't feel entirely comfortable doing him because of his special circumstances. Um, and then the other reasons are, there's always a criticalist there in case something does go wrong. Uh, there's, there's people on staff that are, you know, emergency vets basically. And also on Tuesday, his cardiologist will also be present. Now he's not going to be involved in it in any way, unless for some reason he needs to be, but it's nice to know he's right there in case he needs to be. So put all that together and uh, Teaspoon will be getting his neuter on Tuesday, which is exciting. I think that's all the news. I should check, make sure. Yep, it says my mic is on, so that's good. <laughs> Let me check the Discord and make sure I'm all audible and stuff. I should have checked that before I went through all that discussion, but there we are. All right, we look good, so uh, excellent. So that was it for, I think that's it for all the news. Um, everything that's important to cover, I think we got through. These little kids are doing great. Uh, really not too much to report. I gotta clean your ears again, kids. Um, that's it, that's everything. So, uh, let's jump into the mailbag. Why not? Maybe I'll think of something else as we go along. So we have a postcard first with a really cute little, uh, I think it's a bobcat or um, uh, an ocelot or something. Uh, it looks like a bobcat to me though, with a little tiny tail just like our mom cat has. And the postcard says, Hello, Callie and fellow Bobtails. I thought you might like this card. Love the new mom's name, Skylight. Can't wait to see what names DJ comes up with. Jess and Diane from PA. Oh, and it does say back here it's a Bobcat, so that's perfect. That is a great photo. Uh, it looks like it was the grand prize in the 2023 Friends Photo Contest, so there you go. You can see why. It's a, it's a very good photo of a bobcat. We actually have a bobcat in the neighborhood. Uh, I haven't seen him in a while now, but I think I saw him as recently as last year in our backyard. So that's very cool. Uh, does kind of remind me of Cal, I guess, in a way, although Cal is much friendlier. Okay. Thank you, uh, Jess and Diane. I also am excited to see what names DJ uses for the rest of the class. Uh, letter opener? Hang on. There's my knife. I'm going to want that. La la la. Okay, there's a letter opener. Perfection. Hi, Sprout. Are you here to help? You seem very helpful this morning. Oh, it's a postcard in an envelope, I think. Indeed, we have a card here that has... <laughs> It looks like uh, an Egyptian, like it's got hieroglyphics and the sun and I think a drawing of uh, an Egyptian cat. But then on the other side, there is a standing Egyptian and a cat hiding under his clothing, which is very cute. <laughs> that's, uh, that's something. So here it says, hello, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and kittens and faculty at KA. I was trying to think who to send the bonus postcard to. The answer was, of course, Kitten Academy. Uh, I sent the book. I guess I should have read this second, but that's okay. 
I sent the book to Philly Mouse after I was done to thank her for her Facebook recaps. Yes, thank you uh, also to Philly Mouse. So happy all the adoptables are adopted from Kate, a.k.a. Creole Moss. Uh, oh, I see. This is from the Time of the Cat Kickstarter book. So we're getting the postcard from the Kickstarter for Time of the Cat, and uh, Philly Mouse apparently got the book. This is very, a uh, very cute little postcard. Okay, and the note says... The note part two. Okay, you read on stream. The glossy coating on the writing side of the postcard made it fancy but fragile. Bingo. I wanted to send the postcard regardless because it's cool and has cats. It was a Kickstarter bonus when I backed the Time of the Cat book, a cozy sci-fi book about time travel with talking cats. I sent my book to Philly Mouse to thank her for Facebook recaps. Perhaps Ari needs that petting son contraption since he's never been petting his whole life. Oh, I do see that now that you mention it. It looks like the sun rays are hands and uh, the, the Egyptian cat is kind of being pet by them. Uh, let's see. Kate, a.k.a. Creole Moss, thank you so much for sharing the benefits of your Kickstarter with us, uh, with, of your Kickstarter contribution, I should say. Uh, with us. I really appreciate that. That's a cool card. I like that juxtaposition of the, uh, like, you know, Egyptian sort of painted cat with the real cat. Uh, that's pretty cool. Ooh, good and ready to read on camera. Wow, that's something. Oh, and there's a donation here, I'm assuming, for Teaspoons Fund, so I'm going to put that right in there. Thank you. That's very sweet of you. Wow, I don't know exactly what's going on here. We have a cloud with a smiley face on it. Okay. And, whoop, oh, oh, sit right there, cloud. Okay, try that. Uh, I'm trying. Uh, let's put the smiley face side up. Nah, that's fine. Let's put the colored side up. Okay. Stay. And then this appears to be some kind of a rainbow. Let's see. With writing on it. Look at that. Uh, I remember um, like an old book of uh, magic tricks slash bar bets that I had when I was a kid. And one of them was a bet that you could step through a playing card. And to do that, you would cut a playing card in almost this exact pattern. Not exactly, but very similar. And then you could stretch it out big enough to make a loop that you could step through. Um, which, you know, I won a lot of bar bets with when I was like 10 years old. You can imagine, uh, I spent a lot of time at the bar. Okay, this says, sometimes the rainbow unravels and all looks gray. That's when I turn on Kitten Academy and find the joy and all things cute so the rainbow comes back together. Aww, that's so cute. I think this says Linda, although it could be Londa or even Fonda, depending. Um, it's a, Sorry, the signature is a little confusing, but this rainbow is beautiful. Uh, I like the method of cutting it, of course. It reminds me of something fun. And uh, I like uh, the color, though. It's especially good. You did an excellent job of representing a rainbow here with these wonderful colors. And uh, the little bonus cloud is just cute. So thank you so much for that. That's a, that's a wonderful sentiment and a wonderful card. Very artistic. This watercolor rainbow, though, is spectacular. That's just really quality. Hmm. Uh, very nice. Thank you so much for that. Okay. Uh, I thought there were, th oh, there were three cards. One was a postcard, so we got it all. Okay, good. Okay, good. Little Jan here is the biggest snuggler. He just, the minute that I'm sitting down or lying down, he is in my lap every time and just wants to hang out all of the time. It's very sweet. And we got a monkey right now, too. Monkey is cute because he loves to snuggle, but if I pick him up, it is the worst thing ever. He still is like, do not pick me up. Uh, let's see if I can prove it. Let's just try real quick, see if he'll sit with me for a minute. Oh, already with the meow. Do you want to talk into the mic, buddy? No, I wasn't saying you. What do you what's your statement, pal? Okay. Well, he's uh, not as frantic as he might normally be, uh, but still, he clearly was like, meow, meow, put me down. That reminds me, I had to trim Greg's nails yesterday. I mentioned this on Discord uh, because he has wappy paws when there's treats on order. 
And whenever there's food that he likes, he growls and he smacks anybody that comes close when he's eating food, even some that don't come very close. He's got a big reach on him. And uh, his claws were sort of tending to get stuck in, so uh, I, I gave him a trim. We don't normally trim the nails on our kittens. Uh, I think they, they need them for a lot of their play and for things like catching themselves when they fall. But uh, in his case, I feel like it was justified. So, <laughs> All right. Let's see here. We've got t-shirts. Uh, t-shirts with uh, apparently no notes, unless they're folded up in here somewhere. And on the outside it says, Mr. and Dr. DJ. But it does not say who it is from. Hang on. Wait, there's a further corner here. Oh, I wonder if there was a note and they fell out because it wasn't entirely sealed on that end. Well, whoever it was, uh, feel free to take credit. Even if it wasn't, you take credit. Who's going to who's gonna contradict you? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I wore my Teaspoon t-shirt, by the way, to Teaspoon's first appointment, but I don't think anybody noticed, which is all right. I still had fun with it. I really liked it. This says, one cat leads to another and another and another. Uh, that's adorable sentiment. It is true. But then uh, the, these little kittens are very cute with their big eyes looking at each other. You like it, Sprout? Sprout likes it, too. Okay, uh, I can't pick it up now. Everybody's standing on it. Then the other one has, oh, a beautiful, let's see, it's an outline of a cat and on the touching a sunflower. And the sunflower says... Best cat mom ever. Oh, that's sweet. DJ loves sunflowers too. So do I. They're very pretty flowers. Um, and this uh, the cat, the backlit cat is very nice too. So thank you very much. Whoever sent the t-shirts, those are both going to be worn, of course. Wonderful. I'm going to set those right over here. Thank you for that. Okay. Keep going here. What are you thinking about, Holly? Well, I hear something jingly in here. You hear that too, don't you? It says, of course, these are for students and faculty in separate packages. Oh, here we go. No gift cards are two black t-shirts for you, funny, and Dr. DJ, adorable. I up one size because 100% cotton from Jackie. All right. Well, that works out just fine, Jackie. Thank you very much. There we go. And this says catnip toys. Oh, oh, but they're not catnip toys at all. It's a lie. They're silver vine toys, the good stuff. Oh, I see there's some sticks in here that might be silver vine covered in catnip. Now that's a new one on me. One of these has a very different color though. Oh, there's actually three different varieties in here. I can't tell what they are. They're silver vine sticks that have been coated in something Two of them are coated in something green, which is probably compressed catnip. Two of them are coated in something sort of gray, and the last two are coated in something brown. I don't know what that means. And then we have a whole bunch of loose silver vine sticks there. I'll put one out right now. Um, plus, we have these silver vine uh, geometrical shapes that have always been a big hit. And I saw Monkey, it was, uh, this isn't Monkey, this is Fry now, was already trying to get one. And, of course, um, oh wait, there's a couple more varieties in here too. So there's a second one of those balls, these balls. This one has a compressed catnip in it. This one has the jingles that you heard in it. Those are both very popular. And then uh, we have this fat piece of silver vine with a compressed catnip ball on one end and a silver vine nugget on the other. That's going to be a big hit. And then... Finally, at the bottom, we have these silver vine sticks that are wrapped in twine with a feather on one end and a silver vine nugget and some raffia at the other. These are always hits, uh, for sure. Okay, we'll give you one right now. Here, do you want it? Look, look, it's right, it's right there. Is that what you're smelling? This has a very tiny little nugget on it. You want a bigger one? Okay, here, uh, there's the bigger one. You want to try that? Those silver vine nuggets are the, the thing that they go for more than silver vine, more than catnip, the, the little uh, buds or whatever they are of silver vine. That's the thing that really gets them going. But all of this is really good stuff. I can see Holly's already playing with the stick, uh, which they're just fun regardless. <laughs> but I'm sure the silver vine adds something. Thank you so much. Uh, that's, that's really sweet. Uh, Jackie, and uh, that's a really good set of silver vine stuff. 
Uh, I'm curious about what those coated silver vine sticks are. I wonder if I can smell them and have any clue. Usually the compressed catnip doesn't smell like anything to me. And uh, I feel like sometimes it doesn't smell like anything to the cats either. Sometimes. Let's see here. So this is the brown one. I don't know. It just smells like burnt to me. What do you guys think? Does that smell interesting? Maybe. Okay. Nah, that just smells like stick also. I don't know. <laughs> you want to chomp on it? There you go. Go ahead. I'm sure it's safe. And then the last ones are the green catnip. Ah, they all smell the same to me. All right, we'll leave a couple of these out, though, just for fun. We'll see. In fact, let's leave one of each and see if there's one that's more popular than the others. If we notice, that would be fun. Even though I have no idea what the three different colors mean. They're like, um, they're like glazed donuts or uh, Pocky for cats, right? A little stick with stuff on it. Uh, this really looks like the like cinnamon donut, though. And the, uh, the uh, I don't know what that would be, actually. And then the green donut? Okay, I don't know where I'm going with that. I guess they're more like Pocky for cats. Okay, uh, let's keep rolling, though. Uh, okay, just addressed to Kitten Academy. Aw, it says, Welcome to KA Sweet Skylight. Here are some blankets to help keep you and your babies warm and cozy from Frozen Tundra Crew. And look at that, we have a sky theme baby blankets here for her and her babies. Uh, we've got clouds, stars, uh, pink and white polka dots, I guess. It's sort of an abstract pattern here. Uh, and some more clouds and stars. I like the clouds and stars. I like the abstract patterns. These are some good light colors, too. She'll show up really well next to these on the camera. Uh, fantastic. Frozen Tundra Crew, thank you so much for keeping us in a little receiving blankets for our mom cat. That's wonderful. Okay, then we have, oh, GA Girl. Well, I can guess what this is going to be. It is, in fact, a catnip banana, and it says, Enjoy your gift, a banana for special skylight from GA Girl. Thank you so much, GA Girl. I know that, they, uh, that she will really appreciate this. I'm going to write her name on it. It might go into her endowments, because I think I found one um, in our stash downstairs that I've given to her. Um, but we'll see as time passes. Oh, they already got the nugget off of one of those. I see it laying over there. Okay, so let's write Skylight. All right, thank you, uh, GA girl. Wow, a Teaspoon, you're into that Silvervine stuff now, huh? You're a year old. You like the big cat stuff today? I get it. There you go. Okay, uh, well, I guess over there we don't really have a... A proper pile going yet, but we'll get there. GA Girl, thank you so much for keeping us in catnip bananas. I feel like the, the one that we gave her was probably from you as well. So, uh, let's see. This just says Kitten Academy on it. Is there a knife? There was a knife. How do I do this? How do I lose a knife in like the two seconds it takes me to open something? Uh... Buddy, which one of you stole it? Well, oh, I put it back in the box when I got the pen out. I don't know what that is about. Okay. Oh, what is all this? We have Pure Bites. Um, this is chicken breast and catnip. Wow, I have not seen that before. Freeze-dried chicken breast and catnip. Uh, we've obviously had their freeze-dried uh, chicken and shrimp and beef and everything. They have all this freeze-dried stuff, salmon, uh, and the cats all love it. And DJ gives this out as a treat uh, almost every morning, this stuff or things like it. But I've never seen it with catnip in the chicken. That's interesting. It's just a big old mix of shredded, freeze-dried chicken and catnip. I will be very interested to see how they like that. Then we have, it says, RAR from Professor, not Faculty. Okay, uh, I, I don't know exactly how to interpret that, but it, it says, um, 
There might be more notes. We'll see. There's, this is some kind of a tiger thing. What is it, though? So I see something rainbow. So this is a very angry-looking little uh, uh, tiger. He's adorable, and it says tea turtle reversible plushies. So I see we can reverse him. Oh, and have something else. And the something else is a rainbow tiger that looks happy. That's really cute. So you can have him like this and be a happy little rainbow tiger. Or you can flip him the other way and have this little angry little tiger. <laughs> That's really fun. I think I had something like this I was looking at on Amazon before, and I never actually bought it, but I wanted it. So uh, it was at least very similar. So I think this is adorable. Thank you so much. I assume this is to represent our little teaspoon, um, but the, the little rainbow tiger versus regular tiger and this little cute angry face, that is adorable. That's so much fun. <laughs> it's just fun to switch too. It's real easy. You just do this, do that. Hmm. Really cool. Thank you for the uh, tea turtle reversible plushie. Uh, we have a plain white box. Deacon. 480 pack. Whoa. Whatever's in here, there's a lot of it. I was just going to see if there's another note first, but I don't see one. So our only note is RAR from Professor. Okay, I guess it's from Professor. So Professor, thank you, and RAR back at you. This is some a really interesting set of stuff that you've sent because uh, the treats are something unique. The little tiger, the reversible tiger, I love. Uh, he would fit in the rainbow room when he's in his rainbow form, or he can transform and go around the house. How about that? Whoa! Wow, you sent a couple springs. I'm not going to count them, but I will completely believe that there are 480 springs in this box. I mean, that's it's packed full of springs. That is really cool. These guys can always use more springs. Let's put one out right now. Uh, one pack it, uh, I mean. Individually packaged groups of springs. Wow, Professor, thank you. That is something the kids are going to love. Uh, Drizzle has, I, I think I've mentioned a few times, Drizzle plays fetch very well. Uh, she, she will fetch things and bring them to me in bed and I'll throw them and she brings them right back. Uh, I don't know how well I've been able to illustrate that on the stream for everybody, but she really does. She plays a lot of fetch, and lately the thing that she plays fetch with the most are the plastic springs. Uh, it's changed over time. She'll do it with just about anything uh, if the, the mood strikes her, but the springs have been the number one thing lately. Of course, she's sitting right there in her hammock, so I don't know if she's going to go for it, but let's just see. Well, uh, somebody gets there before, she always is like, all right, you got this. <laughs> so, all right, that's fine. We tried. That is a lot of springs, Professor. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, well, oh, let's do this first, and then we'll get to these two boxes. Uh, all right. I think we all know who this one is from. This is addressed to the Tiny Wimey Endowments. Oh, and uh, to start with, we have a whole bunch of springs. Excellent choice for endowments. It looks like there's at least one pack for each kitten that's graduating. But uh, we also have <laughs> this funny little pack of knit critters. We've got a duck, uh, a little angry looking dog, a couple dogs, I think. We've got a llama, a pig, oh, and a bald man. Wow, it's like Mr. Ace Farm in here. Although the bald man really looks more like Gargamel with that black outfit on, doesn't he? And look at this, the cute little kitty with a, with a flower in her hair. That's adorable. They're all very cute little critters. Okay, but uh, what we have is flat mice. Oh man, so many flat mice. I wonder if there's a note in here too. And what is this? These are extra treats. Oh, maybe there is a note. These are Fruitable's Wildly Natural Salmon Cat Treats. Hmm. Hi, all. These new toys come from Laura. We hope all the kitties have found loving homes and enjoy these playthings. Good luck. Ed and Crew. I'm assuming Ed and Crew are at Mickey's Pet Supplies. That's really cute how personalized that note is and handwritten. So from Mickey's Pet Supplies from Laura. Uh, Laura, thank you. And 
Uh, let's see. We have uh, Springs Catnip, and the Dog Barn Yarn, and... Oh, it says endowments from the Timey Wimeys from Laura Kitten Fan, uh, a small token of appreci my appreciation for the hours of entertainment you have provided. Good luck in your new homes. Thank you. How cool is that that Mickey's Pet Supplies sent uh, her note and their own note? That's very, very cute. So the springs I left in, but uh, I love all the variation on the flat mice. We've got these little flat, uh, I don't know, flying squirrels or something. Uh, and <laughs> you like that, huh? we got a regular flat squirrel here. we got a flat skunk. We've got the uh, another little flat squirrely thing, and another one of these with a fancy tail. I don't know what that's exactly supposed to be. Some variation on a squirrely thing. The flat mice, oh, and you took one too, okay. The flat mice are obviously something these kids like, uh, since they're trying to take, are you growling at me about this? Find something else to play with, buddy. You get to take this home with you. Save it for when you go home. Uh, the flat mice are a fun toy that I think a lot of kittens really like to play with, and uh, we haven't seen too much of around here lately, but that's good. Ari, did you get poked in the eye, buddy? You look like a pirate. Well, we'll get him some eye meds, too. Uh, all right, let's keep going, though, for now. Okay, this has to go back in here, and these can go over here. And that brings us to this. Okay, so this is clearly from the B&B &B sisters. I don't think I need to tell you that by this point. Let's see what we've got today. All right, the best part is the note right here on top. It's, uh, it's, it looks like an oil painting, very nice, of a cat playing dominoes uh, next to a cigar in an ashtray. Um, cute little scene. It's a little black and white uh, tuxy kitty, as you can see. All right. And inside it says, hello, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. We are excited to see a new mom cat. Can't wait to see your kittens where, whenever they come and how many she will have. It will be interesting to see what names Dr. DJ comes up with. Enclosed are cans of food, blankets, and lots of toys to be used as you see fit. Thank you for all you do, B&B sisters. Thank you for all you do. Wow, this is pretty. I like the... Um, uh, uh, flower is a, uh, oh my goodness, the name. Uh, that's all right. Here, let's keep going for the moment. Hibiscus. That's what I was looking for, isn't it? Okay, hang on. Let's scooch this on over here for a minute. There we go. Look how pretty those colors are and the nice flowers. This is lovely. Uh, just a big cat with this big, hi I think I, some of these look like hibiscus. Some of them don't. I guess a variety of flowers. Very pretty, bold colors. There we go. That would go in the dark mode rainbow room really well. Uh, looks like we've got another similar thing here with more of a cool color palette. Ooh, yeah, very similar uh, on theme. Like I said cool, but it's just his face. And then the rest on the outside is very warm. We've got butterflies and uh, some flowers there at the bottom. Mostly butterflies, I guess. Really beautiful. This art is uh, something else. And, oop, I know, buddy. I know. Hi, Ari. Why don't you come over here so I can at least help clean your eye a little bit and have a quick look at it. Here, let's take a look. Come here, buddy. I know, I know. Let me see you for a second. Yeah, let me take a look at you up close. Do you have a scratch somewhere that I can see? No. That's a bit of a goop, huh? I know, buddy. All right, well, I was surprised that none of the faculty had any of the sort of eye stuff that's going around, and now one of them does. I'm sorry, buddy. All right, that's okay, though. We'll make sure he gets treated for it as well. Okay. It's all right, pal. Here, come sit next to me. I'm not going to bother your eye anymore. You can just sit right here with me. Get some pettings. I know. I know. Or not. That's fine, too. There we go. 
Oh, this is a kitty that looks like he's sitting above a pond. You can see a little bit of his reflection there, the flowers. <laughs> the jump onto another cat. All right, very pretty too. These uh, The dark blankets with the dark colors are really nice. Oh. Let's see here. Okay, I think there's one more here as well. And this one is... Ooh, like a color point. There we go. With blue eyes, a big floofy one. And that's uh, that's about it. There's our couple of flowers though. Very pretty. Wow, those blue eyes. Okay. Thank you for the blankets. These are all so soft. Oh, they're just wonderful. There we go. Put that right there. Then there's more, of course, so much more. We have a bottle of 200 milliliters of, uh, what does this say though? It's got a mouse on it. It looks like wine, but it says, well, it says meow wine. All right, well, that works. Not especially creative, but I like the little embroidered mouse. That's adorable. We have Red Bull Catnip Kicker. Wow, it's it's actually Red Bull brand. Oh no, it's, it says Red Purr. Wow, it fooled me. And the, it's not bulls; it's two little cats. That's that's actually way clever. The little the two little cats about the butt heads are adorable on that. Red Purr Catnip Kicker. All right, I like it. Oh, here we have a jet airplane. It's been flattened out, but I bet it's going to pop up real big when we open this. That's cool. I might I might have to bring that upstairs for DJ to enjoy right now. You might not know it, but uh, DJ is a big fan of, uh, I guess, airplanes. She watches a few airplane YouTubers. There's a guy, uh, 74 Gear, on YouTube who does little things. There, he's an actual pilot, and uh, he just he just talks. He's just entertaining, I guess, um, about. Uh, mostly he does like other people send him videos of plane stuff on YouTube and then he comments on it as a pilot, which is fun. It's things like, you know, uh, bad landings or bad takeoffs or uh, a lot of uh, talking back and forth with um, uh, the tower, um, you know, when, when pilots are saying things or the tower is saying things that they maybe shouldn't be and uh, gets out on YouTube and he comments on it. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's, I find it actually fairly entertaining. He's a, he's an entertaining kind of guy, uh, real good presentation and, uh, that's fun. So yeah, DJ likes that kind of stuff. And of course she's a big fan of Top Gun. It's one of the movies she'll put on just to have noise. Uh, so we've both seen it a million times. These kids keep pulling the flat mice out, especially Fry here and, and growling and acting like a little Greg because he wants the flat mouse. Oh my goodness. I don't know. If, can you guys see this? Oh, he almost got dragged all the way over here. Airlifted. Oh, that's a good choice too. The flat skunk's a fun one. It's got the fluffiest tail, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want me to take it off the card, buddy? I don't think we'll remember about whose endowment it was or anything. If we do, but it seems like you really want it. Is it as much fun if we do this? Oh, hang on, buddy. Here. Okay. Oh, you've got black fur on your tongue now. All right, he really wants it, so we're going to let him do it. Uh, here we got a little tiny fish. Oh, is it not fun now that I took it off? Boy, so picky. Here we've got a whole bunch of... Uh, well, it's not a whole bunch. We've got an angel fish with a rainbow, and we've got a whale... And a hedgehog. What else is in here? A bird, a llama, and an elephant. Quite a set of little toys. We, we have a jumping dolphin with a really cute embroidered eye and a belly that's got um, like a canvas on it so it'll last a little longer. A set of real fur mice, big hit. A smiling seal, a crab, a oh, cute little red crab, that's adorable. We've got a hedgehog and squirrel, woodland critters two pack. Sprout is in here like digging around. Oh, look at this, like a handmade angelfish with little doll eyes. <laughs> that's very cute.
This is a fish that's got a, a leopard print on it. It says Safari Mouse. Oh, I guess it is a mouse. It could have been either way, but it's got mouse ears, so that works for me. Uh, we've got crinkly balls. We've got uh, some sort of uh, aquatic shark, I think. Yeah, it's a shark. There we go. We got a little shark and a killer whale and uh, some uh, 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 fighting fish. Um, Beta. There we go. Beta fish. There we go. Very sparkly ones. A lot of fish in this one. We got an adorable little flinging lion launch and chase cat toy with silver vine inside. That's super cute. That face is just so cute with the big mane on. He's just growling. I don't. I, you probably can't hear it because it's a little quiet even for me. But he is. He's got that flat uh, skunk, and he's growling and making all these little noises. Buddy, can we get that on, on mic? Will you say it for the mic? Ow! No, he's being very quiet now. There we go. Did you hear that one? Very serious. Okay. <laughs> Here we've got a dragon shooting little fire out of his mouth. That is so cute. The, the, the fire is like little red and uh, yellow and orange yarn. <laughs> That's really adorable. Uh, another beautiful little fish mouse. It's got... Fi this is very confusing because it's got like a fish... Well, it's got feathers for a tail, but it looks like it should be a fish. It's got fish scales as a pattern, very clearly scales. Uh, but it's got a real mouse face on it. It says patterned mouse. So, uh, threw me for a loop. Here we've got a couple of little... Oh, I was going to say jellyfish, but I think they're supposed to be octopi. I guess you could go either way, really, with the all the dangly bits coming down there. All right. We've got a flamingo. We've got a set of birds, parakeets, actually. All three look like parakeets. One's laying on its back. The other two are sitting up pretty. There we go. We have... Uh, interesting. Oh, it's, um, it's, a, it's a bird, a very cute little bird, on a, an elastic string. So you can hang it from, say, a doorknob or something. That's nice. That's a very nice little bird toy. Wow. Uh, he's very cute, too. He looks like maybe a, a blue... Not a, a blue jay, right? Is that what I'm thinking? Or a... I um, know. Yeah, I think that's right, maybe. Uh, I feel like I'm not saying the right thing, but that's okay. Here we've got a couple more mice with creative patterns. One is sort of a lemony um, plaid, and the other one in a floral print. A, oh, the dolphin again. That looks like the same one. We have, uh, this is a worm in an apple, a lemon, a floral, the same floral print in a ball, a plastic ball, and a mylar ball. I like the worm coming out of the apple, though. Very uh, Richard Scary there. Okay, make sure I turn off my mic. Okay, good. Here we've got a catnip ticker that looks like, a, I don't know, one of those Christmas crackers, maybe, something like that. We've got a bird here made of the dental health uh, material that they all think is really good for cats' teeth. There we go. And we've got a, a pink dolphin now. The same dolphin, but in pink. And a bunch of these little fetch mice with the string tails. And at the very bottom, we have a bunch of cans, of course, of Nulo turkey and chicken, just what we feed everybody all the time. So that's really an amazing box, once again, from uh, the B&B sisters. Thank you very much for that. Let's just put all of this back in here for now. There we go, except for that airplane. I'll bring that up to DJ. I bet she'll think that's cool.
Great. Okay, one more box then. I think there's somebody in this bat. Yeah, I see you in there, Holly. All right. Oh, I missed this. Uh, there's um, an owl and a parakeet here. And a little, uh, I guess it's another octopus here. It's got his little legs all spread out. Five of them, I guess. He's been through some stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's very cute, though. I love his little face and the legs. That's adorable. Okay. Uh, all right. Now we're on to the final box. Yep. It's come to us all the way from, I believe, Norway. Let's see here. Maggie, what are you doing? Oh, there's a little, that little silver vine nugget that somebody pulled off of that toy right away. Maggie's playing with that. I told you, those things are a big hit, like the, the big hit. Well, I don't know where my knife went. We're going to grab a new one. Oh, wait, it's under the box. Okay, perfect. There was a note on this that said this side up. There we go. So let's open this side. There's little tiny stickers like, like shiny cats. A very floofy shiny cat on this side. Uh, have I got it though? There we go. Issue. All right. Uh, the note. There we go. The note. Okay to read on stream. Perfect. Dear Mr. A and DJ, thank you for all you do for mom cats, kittens, and faculty. I think all the cats have unique personalities and they are all wonderful. I have come to love them all. As I write this, Till, Sprizzle, and the Timies have adopters. This makes me very happy. I knew it would happen, but was a bit worried, even if I knew they would be well cared for at KA in any case. I have sent a few things. Tissue paper for the tissue pit. All right, I see that there's uh, some packed in here. Toys for smalls, if they are still there. If not, please use as you see fit. Um, hang on now. I'm trying to find the things that we're talking about, but I don't think they're in the same order. Oh, this is a cute little bag of treats and a food dish. Uh, let's see. Hang on now. Food bowl for mom cat Callie if she's still there, if not for new mom. That's very, very cute. Hang on. So look, you sent this adorable little food bowl. It's a, it is a, um, a stainless steel, but it's been, uh, it's got like a plastic outer layer. So it's the best of both worlds with rubber feet so it doesn't slide around. That's a, that's a very nice little cat food bowl. Pictures of cats on the side. Then also there are some giant sized uh, fun tubes in here. I think they seem a little bigger than usual. Maybe not. Maybe once we put them the other way around. Yeah, they are a little, I think a little bit bigger than usual. We've got a uh, uh, crocheted mouse and a little tiny mouse with raffia tail. Oh, all right. Put that back in there. And then, like I said, uh, a couple of treat sticks. That's a, that's a cute little gift bag for Callie to take home with her. Okay, hang on. Um, toys for smalls, if they are still there. That's, is that what this is? No, this is not that. Aw, stickers. Wow, there's a bunch of everything here. Hang on. Okay. I guess the toys and the, everything in that bag together are the stuff for the kittens. So that makes sense. Uh, food bowl for mom cat, toys for smalls, tissue paper for tissue pit, gift for Mr. A and Teaspoon in the green bag. Mr. A and Teaspoon, okay. Well, here we got a cute little teaspoon looking dog. It kind of reminds me of Elsie. Um, and it's got a ribbon tied around it. It's very cute. Oh my goodness, what an adorable little puppy. And uh, Salmiaki, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing Salmiaki Super. Wow, I haven't had this in a while. Um, it's that uh, it's the licorice candy that is popular in Scandinavian countries with the the weird salt on it. Uh, it's not it's not like what we use for table salt. It is um, I forget now what kind of salt it is, and none of this is in English on the back, so that's not, probably not going to help me. Uh, but it's got a, a real different flavor to it. Hang on here. No, I can't really make heads or tails of it. 
Uh, nonetheless, it's been quite a while since I've tried any, so that'll be fun for me to, to dig into once again. That's adorable. And um, then finally, um, let's see, some snacks for all cats. The stickers, you say. Yes, thanks again. Thank you again for all you do. Hugs and thanks from Norway Cat Fan. Norway Cat Fan, thank you. Uh, this, though, is the most adorable. This cross stitch here. We've got a couple of items of cross stitch. We have a little banner that says, Introverted but willing to discuss cats. That is super appropriate. That's very cute. Uh, that's, that's adorable. <laughs> uh, then we've also got, I see some crocheted, uh, sort of pot holders here. Knit. Crocheted? No, crocheted. Yes. That, I'm going to go with that. Oh, these are thick too. That's very quality work with a little cat on it, on both of them. They're matching. That's beautiful. And I love the sort of Norway blue and white colors. And then finally we have what I guess is a bookmark or a little, um, I, I'm going to say bookmark. I don't know what else you, it would be. And it's got these little cross-stitch kitties with the cutest faces on them, especially. The one on top is making an adorable smile. The one in the middle is grooming itself. And the one on the bottom is having a nap. Or they could all be the same kitty at different times, I suppose. Don't stick your claws in this. I don't want you to mess it up. These are all beautiful, beautiful work. Thank you so much for that. The border on this is amazing, too. That is just some, some real tidy work there. Thank you so much for that. The colors are great. The kitty there is adorable. This banner is also very cute. It's all perfect. Uh, I'm going to have to figure out where to frame these uh, the banner, especially. There we go. Uh, Norway Cat Fan, I, I couldn't possibly thank you enough for sending this stuff to us all the way from Scandinavia. Uh, fantastic. Okay, and the stickers too. These are the same kind of shiny stickers that are on the outside of the box. Um, although I think a little bigger. And wow, this guy looks just like... Uh, we've, got, we've got some real matches here actually. This one looks exactly like Holly. This one looks exactly like Loganberry. Uh, this one could be most of our little tabby boys, I guess. This looks like a baby teaspoon over here. I don't know how well you can see it. Little baby teaspoon, Loganberry, perfect match. Holly, perfect match. Very cute. All right, uh, these I'm going to put over here in the pile of stuff. That is, was mailbag. I'm going to try one of these right now. What do you think, buddy? Should we? You want one? I don't know if cats can have uh, licorice. They probably shouldn't. Oh, wow. Oh. Hmm. I don't remember it having a, a little bit of a... Um, I don't know, just a very slight tartness to it, maybe? I don't remember that quality. The rest of it is very licorice. Very salt. Um... Yeah, like strong black licorice. It's a little bit, uh, I'd say a little bit of a, got a, sort of a minty quality to it as well. I guess it would sort of work as a breath freshener, like a clove or something. Mm. Very good. Oh, not exactly my style, but I can see how people would like them if they were uh, accustomed to it. It's, uh, yeah. Thank you for sending that. It's fun just to have that different experience once in a while. And that's certainly something that we don't ever see here. Kids, what should I do with this? Can I put it in this box that you kids were playing in anyway? Leave that here for a little bit while I pick up everything else. All right. Okay, this is going to be noisy. I'm going to turn off the mic and uh, turn on the regular mic so we don't make it so noisy.
this all has to go downstairs. We might as well put it together. Yeah, it's, I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm really not enjoying it now. <laughs> It was pretty good at first. Definitely has outstayed its welcome. <laughs> I still hear that growling happening. You must be dragging that mouse around and growling. I guess that's going to be the toy for the day. Uh, not mouse, skunk. What a cute little bag. We should try to find a way to reuse that. If I can. Respectfully take the tape off. Nailed it. All right. Uh, let me get that out here. Hi, Jan. I got to get up, buddy. Don't. Mm. thing I want to do today is work out, but it's, it's been most of the week. I don't think I have. It's been such a busy, busy week. I feel terrible. So I think I have to do it first thing. Oh. Let me say I'm sorry. Hey, I'm sorry. You got your toe bitten. I. There we go. Oh, that's our Titan Academy sticker there, uh, magnet. Oh, that's heavy. All right. Got it. Okay, I'm gonna leave that box out for now. Whoa, that's everything for the way though. So thank you all very, very much. It was a wonderful mailbag. <laughs> you guys knocked this tree over? What's up? Come on. Wow, you wild little kittens, all of you. What happened to Fry and his flat mouse? Oh, there he is. Does he have it? He does. 
Oh, somebody beat you to it, Fry. Looks like it's GM's flat mouse now. I guess it's a flat mouse, even if it's a skunk. Well, uh, thanks again. Uh, much appreciated by all. And I am going to end the recording here. I'm going to try to. There we go.